Hello. How y'all doing? I know on yesterday I posted that I'm going to release a video saying how some parents ain't shit. Today, I'm doing it. I know there's a very unpopular opinion or uh, people have, you know, no excuses to my, there's no handbook to being a parent. You got to learn on the fly. No, that's not the case. If you had a great parent of your own, you won't have to learn. You can see it every day. There is some ain't shit parents. For example, the parents who use their children's name to start a bill or open up a credit and you didn't pay the credit or you didn't pay the bill. And now children get grown and they find out, hey, you got bad credit because you had this in your bill. I mean, this you had this in your name, this bill in your name. Me personally, I think the child should have the right, or the adult have the right, it's still a child, have the right to sue their parent for messing up their credit. And then they should sue the business too, who allowed them to open up some kind of bill or credit in their name when you see their birth date and the joker is just nine or ten. You see a 10-year-old shut over the birth date, 2013, and you don't question, like, hey, you look a little too old to be uh, just born 10 years ago, so why are you using the birthday? That's a form of fraud on both parts. The business part, because they just wanted to get the sale. They just wanted to like, hey. I just made a sale. You know, run the center, don't give a shit. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, all the little small companies, a lot of big companies, major companies, don't give a shit. They want to just meet that quarter of the year. And they know, damn. I'm sure when they walk out, the person walk out, their parent, they're like, the joker just use their doing child credit just to get this sale. But your managers are coming to you like, hey, great job. I see you did a great job this week. You had a plethora of people come through here and you you met your goal for the week. Then after a while, you're like, yeah, I'm about to meet my goal for the week. I don't give a damn. They're using their children credit. I, I, I strongly believe that when you get a certain age and you find out your parents use your credit, you should sue them. Sue their ass. Sue Damn. If they that darn irresponsible and they credit messed up that bad, sue them. I don't care. And then you got some of the parents. You go as as a child. I know this personally. Not for me, but I know a person from people I know who used to send their children to school and tell them said, I don't give a damn what those teachers say. If they try you, cuss them out. Tell them they got a problem, call me. Call me. I'll go ahead and i cuss them out too. Then you, the child get older and get grown. They cursing you out. The same way you told them to cuss the teacher out. They're not listening to you. They, they, they failing in life because they don't respect. Respect is a whole bit. Respect is big, people. If your, ch if your child don't learn respect in the house, they ain't going to have respect when they enter the workforce or try to enter the workforce. It's ain't shit parents. You teach children ain't shit shit. And then, um, then the people who allow their children to drop out of school. There's no... There's no way... <laughs> My child gonna come to me and say, "Hey, I'm gonna drop out of school." Yeah, like, what you gonna do? <laughs> you better finish school than no. You ain't dropping out of school. You you gonna lay in the bed all day, play video games, run the street, smoke weed, and so called hustle. That's the thing too. Especially if those children out there hustling, selling. 
illegal products, a lot of parents support that. Because they know that in the end, they got somebody else they can go get money from. They don't care if their children can face life or death out there in the street or get sentenced to 20 to plus years in prison. They don't care. They're looking like, baby, you know mama messed up right now. So I need you to come here. I need you to bring me some money. And you know, a lot of these children, uh, young adults, they so ignorant. They think their mama is the world or their dad is the world. And then they're going to come, huh, here, here you go. No, 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 he's great. He's great. I got you. But those same young adults can get into a bad drug deal, kill someone, or they get killed. And then the parent come on TV. My baby ain't never did nothing wrong to nobody. Uh, why would they do that? All the time, you know, your child out there running the street hustling and some game banging. All because you looking at your child as another support. Yeah, it should be the opposite. You should be supporting your child instead of your child supporting you. But that happen all the time. Happen all the time. Because of ain't shit parents. Ain't shit parents. And, and I know sometimes we, you know, a lot of people use that excuse. Oh, this is what I seen. I wanted to be the opposite of my parents. I ain't gonna lie to you. I wanted to tell, tell my children, I love you. Hug my children. Tell them I'm proud of you. Getting little slight comments, you know, like, hey, what's up, little smart girl? Hey, how my intelligent daughter doing? You know, it's up to us, up to the parents to build our child ego, our our child success path. You know, shoot. You know, if your child is having trouble in school and they need a little extra help. Why are you not getting a tutor? Because you can find some tutors actually free. That's a school program. It, it help out there. But so many parents only care about themselves. And then these parents, when their child get close to that age of 17, and they about to lose their government assistant are about to lose their child support and they telling their child, hey, you need to get out there and get you a job. Or you need to get out when you get out of high school. How are you going to tell an 18 year old, 19 year old, 17 year old, you need to get out when you're in high school? Man, their brain's still developing. They, you, ain't, you haven't talked on financial responsibility. You ain't talked on how to, I know this sound the old person. You ain't talked on how to manage their check account. Hey, you still need to manage your checkbook. Even, you know, you need to track, keep track somewhere on paper or something. Keep track of your spending or bills coming up. You ain't teaching them children how to pay bills. Man, I learned how to pay bills. How old was I? I think I was like 20, 21, 22. It was a jury bill. That the first time. I ain't know. Like, what is credit? What is a down payment? When you grow up in a situation, and you see people like getting evicted, uh, had to move with somebody else. And the first thing, like, government holding us down. You like, oh shit, the government holding us down. I'm annoying to yourself that they just didn't pay their bill. They didn't pay their bill. And, and another thing. You hit on toenails, that's my dog. Well, you just see my dog in the background. Then another thing, too, that 
you see your children struggling and you just stop caring. You tell them, you ain't shit. The conversation go on inside people's house telling their children they ain't shit. You ain't gonna amount to nothing. All that junk. And that's crazy. And people love when a young teen get locked up instead of taking the responsibility that you ain't showed on the right path. Love to my, it's the prison to school pipeline. That prison and school pipeline is is an excuse for a parent who failed a child. Ain't no such thing as a prison and school pipeline. Pipeline. Yep, yeah, you got some bad teachers out there who might tell you uh, who just look down on the other students. My other student hopeless, but the parents shouldn't look down on the child and say they hopeless. That student is. Prison pipelines and BS. I wish more parents would take that responsibility. I'm about to get off. Talk to you later.